Oh, Evo, so high. Uh, gonna lace you uh, up with wait. a Marvel match here. But oh, yeah. Record. Uh, I God! Really, oh, I do recognize the guy on the left. Alright, hey, we're back. Um, sorry about that. I was uh, kind of, well, entranced by hype. Anyway, uh, we're here. We're in the town. Hey, I get to chase pigeons. Pigeons! Anyway, we're in the town center, town plaza, and now it's time to talk to the town chief. Get ready for horrible voice acting. Uh, anything you want from an old man? Yes. I heard that if I went to the plaza, the town chief would be here. Are you the town chief? That's right! I'm the chief of this town. Even though I'm the town chief, I'm just an old man. There's nothing special about me. I just take care of a few jobs for the travelers. So who told you about this place? A girl called Cal who lives outside the town. She said that if I come here, there's a job going as a ruler. I see you're a ruler. If that's the case, there's a job that I can ask you to do. Yes. But I don't know how good you are. How good I am? That's right. How good are you are? How many monsters have you got? Uh, well, we sold them all, so it's okay. What? You haven't got any monsters? He discerned that from ah. I sold them on the way to this town. I see. In that case, I'll give you some money and a bit of monster seed. You can take it to the monster merchant and hatch your monster. Yes! Then you go to the beast fighting arena, and I want you to beat all the low-ranking monsters. Then, you do that, I want you to do that, I'll see how good you are and give you a job. I understand. And here's the reward. 10,000 zenny, or gold or whatever. Two penny wings, two bitter aids, a mine aid, two health potions, two mine potions, two uh, battling offensive seeds. I don't care if it says magic attack. It's battling offensive, not magic offensive. And two actual magic offensive seeds. All right, here we are, world map. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this. There's the monster fighting ring, which we're gonna be going to in a little bit. First, we need monster stuff. All right, that's the monster fighting store. Right there, you can get the uh, potions, you can get a few monster items, and you can get monsters. White Armor Inn, we'll be coming back to there later. Morgan Department Store. Let's go see what they got. Actually, because this is the item shop. This is where you buy all your potions and all your other stuff. So yeah, let's go see. And no, I'm not voicing the shops. No. Well, okay, I'll be voicing the end, but not the shops. Never the shops. Also, I was trying out a, uh, or I'm trying out a cheat here to see if I can actually get it to work. I've never been able to get this one to work, but if I could, hey, better to me. I'm trying to get all items in the shop. And, uh, I'll put the, uh, code for it in the, er, in the description. Um, try them one last time. And nope, still all the stuff. But anyway, there's the uh, the okay. I'm gonna recover my mind stuff. There's the okay. I'm gonna recover my health stuff. Aids are better than drops, and the Rizuas are basically okay. Um, here's the monster fighting store. Uh, you could get. We've got a cheat here where we can buy all items, or not all items, but all monsters. I'm not going to be doing that. Going up here. Um, I'm also using a FAC. Or a uh, frequently asked questions is what FAC means, if you didn't know. But uh, there's buying a monster, selling a monster, sell, uh, selling a solution, and selling a seed. None of which I'm going to do. Going to be making use of hatching. Anyway. I'm going to be using a monster list, basically, to get whatever I want in this playthrough. So, here's what I'm going to be using. 
This says uh, you can see the seed number. You can use that on the walkthrough that I put below. Um, and it also tells you what kind of uh, where it can be found and what kind of seed it is. Um, as I said, these things lie. But anyway, I'm putting number six down, and I'm going for an agrilu or ar uh, ag yeah. And uh, I'm actually you've got to press square there to actually set the uh, I'm, it's actually an agru I'm wrong anyway you have to press square to set the potion then you choose a uh, heat and depending on that heat you get a, whatever monster it says and this is my agru quite fast yes yes always love that but that does mean that it has lower life force, lower stats, usually. Uh, Crimson Rage, Mela Mela, which is a fire. This also has a small glitch where it will uh, not show your range unless uh, you go down. Mela Anger, Mela Mischied. And, uh, yeah. He's actually got a pretty good thing. Also, we get to name the monsters. And, uh, I've got the perfect name for him. That's right, it's going to be that kind of a walkthrough or a let's play. Yeah. Um, he looks like a Charmeleon, I'm sorry. He doesn't have the wings for a Charizard, and he's not small enough to be a, Char a Charmander. So, ha. Huh. Now I'm going for an Angulia or something like that. You'll see. Yay! I got him. Yeah. Wow, I'm pretty good with the names right now. Uh, quite fast and normal like the other one. Eh, nothing special in the stats. Nothing special here either. Um, Weep it. It causes madness. Uh, Gold Hargas. Insanity. Uh, Angulia. Or, yeah, all of the uh, magics. He's using fires. And Melahot Mega. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually... I've hardly ever seen it. He hardly ever uses it. And I can understand why. But anyway. Since it is going to be that kind of a LP. Why else? What other starter Pokemon is fire? And is a pig. That's right, it's Tepig. And now, let's see what else we got. Taking in this uh, health potion, going all the way back down, because I'm getting a Gardola here. Yes, Gardola. One of my favorite monsters in the game, actually. Oh. Okay. But Garadola, yes, there it is. There he is. Fast and fuck, lazy. Uh, that means he's not going to be as useful. Eh, his stats aren't too bad. And he only has one attack, but he's a very, very powerful bite attack. Alright, since he doesn't remind me of any Pokemon, I'm gonna go something different. If you find another name, I can always get more of uh, these, but he's going to be my Agumon. Yes. Go ahead, leave comments, post names for these. If you've never seen the monsters, fine. Okay. Now I'm going to get a Raudel, or Randall, or something like that. Alright, yeah. 
That's a mole. Ooh, and he's normal, so that means that he's going to have better stuff. And determined, that means he's going to have better stats too. Nose drill has paralysis. Good. Slash has nothing, but it does good damage. Yeah, he is a beast. Anyway, now it's time to name him. Since it's the that type of name, I think I'll name him Sand Slash. No, not SP. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, crap. I just thought of the best name for him. I hate myself now because I should have named him Simon. I wonder how many of you will get that. And here is the fighting arena. It goes up to A rank with Dark Order there. Um, I could actually... Gmail. I actually misread that. I'm a tad bit dyslexic, so it was Gimli to me. Anyway. Um, just going to go through, beat the living crap out of these three. No, I'm not doing in-game in voices, but I will show you one of my favorite strategies here. I will call Charmeleon up or to the bottom. I will call Tepig to the top. And now for the tip of the spear, Sand Slash. And I will stand by while this happens. He's going to summon someone. This is how most of the battles go in the game, is that they'll summon, you'll summon, or you'll summon, they'll summon, something like that. And if they have a low amount of monsters, they'll end up... You can only summon three, by the way. Only summon three. Otherwise, you're going to have to return one of them. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be bad. But anyway, I'm going to move over here. Use out all my moves. Tipping joins the fight. Also, there's uh, th this is a good time for uh, battle commands, as you can see them right there. Um, but battle commands tell your uh, tell your people what to do. Tell them what they can can't use, who to go after, and uh, what they should be doing. Um, I don't have any battle assist yet, but, uh, yeah, anyway, here's what it is. Attack means you attack any monsters that are out. Suicide means you go directly after, uh, the ruler. Defense means you defend the ruler against anything attacking him, and as for, um, assist... You're not going to see me use that anytime soon, because I don't have any magic assisting types. Uh, magic assisting types usually will up a single attribute, like it'll give more speed to someone, or it will uh, heal someone. And uh, yeah, that's what they do. Um, now, time to take you out you and your three health. But yeah, once you beat them, they are out of the arena for good. You can never fight them again. As far as I remember, it's been a long while since I played the game. Gakumash. It actually, um, it, that causes status effects. I also got two more potions that I can use whenever hatching, but I didn't get any seeds on that one. Sad. And the, the game has some pretty good payouts if you go suicide on everything. 
You can get seeds. You can get anything you want from the game right now. Um, also, this is a good enough or a good point to. Uh, also, I'm gonna try a different strat here. I'm gonna call Agumon to the stand, and then I'm gonna move forward. Call in Tepic. And finally, I summon Sandslash. I should really start summoning him first. Ah, well. I'll do it when I remember. I didn't mean to hit attack, I meant to hit standby. Anyway, every monster that you have has a certain amount of life. They will live for a certain amount of time. And the attacks don't really mean anything. Um, it's actually kind of random. But once their life burns out, they will uh, they will use this incredible magic. It's unlike anything else you will ever notice or see. It's not really unlockable in the game. You will be able to just... And I'm telling him to go defense because I want him to take out the Garadola. Anyway, um, but the life magics, which you will see, they burn up their, uh, they burn up all their life, and they, uh, and they basically kill everything that's in their path at that point, and it's just amazing. It's, it's, yeah, you just, yeah, you'll get to see it, trust me, you will. We spend a bunch of time in, uh, in battles, so, odds are, before this is over, you will see Tepig dead. Um, you will see Agumon dead. You will see probably Charmeleon die, too. And I don't mean, like, uh, die of just no hit points. And that's par uh, paralyzed. He's paralyzed, and that means that he's not going to be able to move or attack. Now, Tepe with Gold Hard Gas. This is what causes insanity, so this guy is going to be really, really messed up. And apparently, he was weak to gas. Also, gas does take out MP, and I don't remember if you can die, or your monsters can die, or you can die by lack of MP. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a long while since I've played the game, so forgive me if I forget. And now, Slash, pretty much killed him. And this does kill him. You have a drill that will pierce the heavens, Sand Slash. Four hundred dollars and an acid name. Yes, I know it said acid namine, but it's actually really hard to read. But anyway, um, back in here because he wanted us to defeat all of them. And next time we'll turn in our quest after we're done. But I've got one more thing to show you, don't I? After this one more place, one more building to show you. Yeah, come on out, Agumon. Or, yeah. One more place to show you after this, don't I? Well, then here goes nothing. I'll beat him as fast as possible.
and come out Charmeleon. So far, the only one that I've summoned three times so far is uh, Sand Slash. Yes, there is a reason that he's not Sand True. It's because he has the blades and everything else. He's also taller and, uh, yeah. I told him to go suicide. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't name him Simon. I'm facing the guy named Simon. Oh, I love that monster! Bow blow! It's not exactly a, uh... A defect monster, it's actually pretty good early on. Um, it's a really good battling offensive monster. Okay, let's measure this out, see where I end up. Okay, that's as far as I can go facing towards the enemy. Come on out, Sand Slash! I don't know, honestly, I've just named him Sand Slash. So many better names, but... That's why I want you guys to name him. You guys can be very, very creative whenever you want to be. Yeah, he missed. And I won't pull my last punch. He had the kitty face. And another potion, along with the Ugo cologne. Alright, time for me to go to the White Armor Inn. And, the White Armor Inn is where you can rest, heal up, as well as save your game. So it's time for me to save, and time for me to say goodnight. Hey, later people.